Liam, how have things been over the last couple of weeks? Good chance to work with the squad and a few things? And yeah, um, obviously we've uh, the international break, we, um, we try to use it wisely and and productively um, rather than a break. So we've uh, worked hard on um, a few things with the players because obviously the, the last result was an excellent result, but we know there's a lot of work still to be done. And, uh, and we and we don't want to uh, come off that because we worked exceptionally hard in the week leading up to Aberdeen. Um, so we have to maintain that right from uh, that point through to the end of the season because um, we want to replicate that performance as, as often as possible. Obviously, momentum is difficult when you get two week break, but you have to be trying to do that as much as possible just to keep working on the things you were working on. Yeah, th yeah, that, that, that's it. We didn't want to just um, you know pat ourselves on the back after one good result and then think everything was rosy in the garden. I think it's important that we we understand that there's still improvements to be made. Um, it was a it was a great start um, to our sort of recovery after the month that we had. Um, but there's a lot of tough games coming up, as, as we know. And um, but it's it's just about making sure that we clarify how we play well, um, how we hard to beat, and then um, go and replicate it as often as possible in training, and the training will lead into the games. Really you looking forward to getting a chance against Hearts because obviously there was a, a big game the last time you went there, and I think it was the three minutes to get the penalty, so yeah. it kind of undermined your career. Yeah, it was a, it was a difficult start for us. You know, I think uh, you go into any game and if uh, one team takes the lead after a minute and a half or something through a penalty, you know, it can um, break the game plan uh, or disrupt it at least, um, and um, it changes the, the the mentality of both sets of players. To be fair, so um, but that that's part of the game. We have to understand that you know things happen in every game that go against you. Um, but you can still get positive results from it. And I thought our response to that last game was good. Um, if, if we look at the rest of the game after that, we did some real good stuff. Um, but we got beat by a penalty in a, a set piece, um, which can happen. And we've won games in that manner as well. So um, it's about trying to um, not look back to that game as much as the last game that we played um, against Aberdeen. And like I say, continue on those uh, the good habits that we showed in that game, but um, it it the players need to understand, and they do, that it comes from your training, and then taking it into games. It's it's all about how you train, and then um, take it forward when you're under pressure. What are the strengths that Hearts have that you're going to have to learn tomorrow? Yeah, I think they've they've got strengths all over the pitch, both in the defensive um, phase of play and also on the attacking side. You know, they had a, a great result last time out, um, similar to us. Um, so um, they've started the season really well, um, but we also know that uh, you know we're not far behind them in in the wins um, in the league, and uh, that we've got some um, very good players as well, and, and that's what we have to, to focus on. But we understand that uh, every team we play against this season, regardless of uh, their league position, that they've all been tough, tough opponents, and uh, we'll expect nothing different all for the rest of the season. But um, you know, I'm more focused on our strengths and um, our qualities, and uh, make sure we emphasise and um, and showcase them. But since since the game between you two a couple of weeks ago, I think it's just one win for either side in the last five matches. Mm. What, what what kind of game are we expecting tomorrow? Both teams desperate for three points. I think every game, every opponent, every team is desperate for three points. It's it, honestly, it's. Uh, if you're in 11th position, if you're in second, if you're in fifth, you're desperate for three points every game. So um, I don't think you know. The, I think both teams have had good starts to their league program. I think uh, both teams can look um, at trying to improve on certain things, but understand that they've done lots of good things already. Um, so for me, um, you know, form um, can be affected from month to month. It's about where you are at the end of the season. I'm sure. They think the same thing, but um, you know we've just got to focus on this one-off game, which we did last week um, against Aberdeen. We just focused every day solely on that that performance, and it it, uh, it showed in how we performed. And um, we've done the same for the last two weeks leading up to this game. So um, for me, our challenge is: can we be consistent in our approach to games, uh, mentally and physically? Um, we know we've got really good players throughout this squad. 
Um, we're going to have to change the team because of um, a few players missing through different reasons. Um, so we have we've had to look at that over the last um, seven days to to see how we can um, keep that performance, but with different personnel. What, what, what's the latest with players injury-wise, availability-wise? Who you got? Um, yeah, we obviously um, uh, Ken Van Veen suspended. Uh, Mark Haro, we're just assessing him. Um, from uh, he picked up something in training, but um, he should be okay. Um, trying to think who else there is. Uh, Liam Donnelly's um, out of training at the moment, unfortunately. Um, Yohani, we've we've uh, he came off in the last game, so we're assessing him to see if he can. Uh, perform tomorrow. So, um, but apart from that, the rest of the players are, have trained exceptionally well and they're they're ready to play. Kevin, a big miss. We'll see tomorrow. <laughs> and that's the that's the reality. I think. Listen, at the end of the day, we've played quite a few games without Kevin this season. We know what Kevin's um, capable of, um, but we also know what um, other players are capable of, and they they've already showcased that this season. And um, whoever plays, uh, we expect good performances because we've got good players. I know you've spoken about how good Kevin is technically and things like that, but how do you get a, a consistent run out of him? Because it seems like every time he maybe gets a couple of goals or a couple of good performances, he has got a suspension on perhaps it just hasn't quite been on it. Yeah, that, that's down to us to, to help him um, understand how to be consistent um, and what we judge as consistency. Um, like I think I said um, after the last game, that I'm, I'm not really concerned about Kev's maximum. Because I think God, it could be anything. It's more his minimum. You know, we need to know what, and that goes for all players. And um, you know, we we need to know what their minimum uh, output is, and it has to be a six, seven out of ten, not a four or five. You know, that that's for all our players. So I think that's how you get consistency. You know, we know each individual, each team is not going to always perform at their best, but you got to know where their their floor is, and it can't be too. Uh, too low because we've got really tough games week in week out and um, I think the the consistent players the top players always fill in the gaps so they always this is what you're going to get from me minimum everything else after that is a bonus and uh, you know I've explained this to, to Kev he's he's an intelligent guy he's an emotional guy so he sometimes he gets wrapped up in the emotion of a game um, but I think the the clearer his thought process is on um what the team requires from him. It's not me as, as a manager, it's what the team requires of him and all the other players. Once they understand that, I, I don't think they let each other down. I think we saw that um, in the in the last performance and that has to be our, our bar, really. You know, we Can we improve on that? But what we can't do is go below it. With Liam, is that a potentially serious one? He's obviously just off the back of the nasty one last season. Uh, no, no, it's, um, it's just, um, he, unfortunately, he, he He's picked up a um, couple of little niggles over the time this season. You know, we, we get him up to a certain level, um, <clears throat> and um, and he just takes a, a step backwards, and, unfortunately. So um, we, we're just trying to get him. He's had a, a long time out. We understand that, um, but um, ultimately we need him out on the pitch and uh, fully functional. So um, yeah, but it's not it's not a major one. Though. With um, Stephen McDonald as well coming back on suspension, is that a bit of a selection headache as well with how well Bevis played the deputising at right back? No, yeah. No, it's it's certainly not a headache. It's not a headache. It's a it's a decision to be made, um, and we understand that um, you know with the players we have, we can we can adjust the, the formation slightly if we can, you know, because we're missing. Um, obviously, Jordan can't play tomorrow either because of his you know his um, his parent club. Um, so we, we're missing a couple of forwards, but we we have a um, a good, healthy selection of defenders to pick from and midfield players. So um, you know that's something we we've looked at as well. But um, we know which eleven go out there will be ready to play the game, and that's the most important thing.